Hey, it's Josh, and I'm back with another update on my uh, surgery progress, my recovery progress. And uh, so far I've been really impressed with uh, how quickly things have been healing. I was pain-free after three days. I didn't take any of the, well, I took one of the prescription medications that they gave us. It was a hydromorphone, like a, a morphine, uh, synthetic morphine. Um, which uh, you think I would have been uh, interested in checking out is for uh, to see how the, the psychological effects were. But I just wanted to keep that stuff out of my system, avoid the constipation and the, and the effects on the liver and everything that goes along with it. So I just had extra strength Tylenol and uh, had like uh, three or four extra strength Tylenols on the first day, uh, two or three the next, and then like one on the third. I, like no, After the third day, no painkillers. I was just using ice and meditation on the fourth day. So... <clears throat> And the swelling came down right away. Um, the bruising is coming down. Uh, I haven't been working on range of motion stuff except from like working at the wrist and like uh, a little bit of elbow flexion in the hand uh, based on the protocol they sent me. My follow up with the post op with the surgeon is this coming Tuesday, so just in a couple of days from now. And I'm assuming that's when they're going to get the stitches out. And I'm hoping that means he'll give me the go ahead to get rid of the sling and uh, to start working on just active range of motion. Uh, and I'll post again progress uh, updates as far as the approach I'm taking for my rehab once I get into the exercises and I got a really good plan set. So if you're working on an injury, you're dealing with injury yourself, stay tuned. I'm going to be going step by step on that. So why the heck is this healing way faster, like seems to be at least, way faster than I could have expected? Like uh, pain free so quickly, uh, swelling coming down so quickly, like just Everything seems to be, I like, didn't meet, meet hardly any of the pain medications. First of all, I want to give props out to the surgeon, Christian Vallette. He might, this guy must have done a bang up awesome job, like in and out, nice clean. Um, and he was highly recommended, so that wouldn't surprise me. That would make a big difference as far as how the recovery process is going, for sure. <clears throat> Secondly, meditation has been a huge asset and just for pain management in and of itself and I produced the last video I posted um, I'll post a link to that actually up here and down in the description on how med meditation was helping with the pain management and recovery and certainly there are benefits for med with meditation as far as reducing stress hormone levels and helping your body recover too just as well just as sleep is very important for recovery meditation is also really can help the process. So check out that video and definitely, I think that was a huge asset. Um, my diet, my, my nutrition has been uh, very, getting enough protein still, I'm making sure of that, but uh, much higher plant-based as I mentioned before as well. So I'm getting a lot of antioxidants in and getting a lot of uh, high nutrient dense foods. And uh, that has made me making a difference. I'll be making a video specifically on that coming up. But the other factor that I really believe has been making a difference in my recovery related to pain management, reducing inflammation, and the healing process is my supplement protocol. And um, <clears throat> I wanted to share some of the supplements I've been using in this video. So <clears throat> first of all, one of the ones that I was uh, provided to me by my sponsor is Flex Freak. And I'm not even sure if they, I don't think they produce this one anymore. But I'm just going to tell you some of the key supplements that, uh, based on my research, um, that are in this that I would recommend and that I would, if, even if I wasn't getting this product, I would still purchase them individually. And uh, as far as minerals, there's vitamins and minerals that are very important. Minerals, zinc is a big one that I would make sure you get in if you're healing from any injury. Um, so zinc would be uh, a mineral that I could definitely get and vitamin C would be a vitamin that I would de definitely get as far as especially for joint issues, tendon, ligaments, and uh, cartilage and whatnot. Um, as far as uh, joint repair itself, uh, and I did have a little arth arthritis, they said he had to clean up, uh, glucosamine. Um, and there's mixed reviews and studies on that, but if it comes to joint issues, I would throw the glucosamine in there regardless. Um, as far as inflammation, reducing inflammation, uh, turmeric has been a big one. It's sometimes uh, curcumin, I think, is the extract or vice versa. Turmeric is extract of curcumin or, or other way around. Um, that is in here and I've been adding turmeric to uh, a lot of my foods as well. And then hyaluronic acid, hyaluronic acid, I'll, I'll put that on the screen here, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, would be another one that I'd recommend. <clears throat> in addition to that, and this is also from uh, my sponsor, their sister company, SC Pharmaceuticals, Cissus, Cissus Quadrilangus. And this uh, has, there are studies that show that it can support tendon repair. 
um, but they're also it's an, an antioxidant and there are a number of other health benefits to it as well. So I'm taking that specifically for the what I've read related to tendon uh, repair. Uh, something else that I would recommend is MSM methosulfyl methane. Anyway, it's been also used in beauty products for healthy hair, skin, and nails. But it, it is also shown for helping tissue repair and reducing inflammation as well. So that would be something that I would add, and that's something that I've picked up as well in the process. Uh, hydrolyzed collagen is another one. So uh, make sure it's hydrolyzed. Apparently it's, it's a very large molecule otherwise and doesn't get it digested very well. So it's broken down through hydrolyzation. Uh, your body can process it. And another one that's really good for hair, skin, and nails, as you can tell by my beautiful hair and, uh, and nails, uh, you know, and lovely flawless skin. Um, but regardless, I'm taking it. This actually my wife already had it. Uh, had some collagen and I sort of hijacked it from her to use for this uh, healing process. Uh, some of the other ones, let me make sure I don't miss any on my list here. Um, <clears throat> vitamin C, I mentioned fish oil. So something in fish oil that's high in EPA can also help uh, reduce inflammation and support that healing process. So I believe this is why I, I was able to get off anti-inflammatories and painkillers much more quickly. Uh, also, uh, a superfood, like a green superfood, or just making sure you're getting a lot of greens in your diet uh, can support that healing process by creating a really, real alkaline environment in your body which helps control in inflammation and uh, providing a lot of antioxidants for, for reducing oxidative stress uh, post-injury. Now, that's not to say that inflammation in itself is bad because that's part of the healing process, the inflammatory process. Um, so I actually, why I try to get off anti-inflammatories and uh, icing it all the time as quickly as I could. But uh, inflammation come out of, out of control and your body can also interfere with healing after time. So having foods and, and uh, supplementation, natural supplements in your diet that help control inflammation is definitely a good thing. Um, but the one supplement that uh, I would recommend looking into, and uh, I didn't bring it out here because I'm not sure of the legalities of it, it's a research peptide, but uh, that I believe has been like the Wolverine healing factor for me is BPC-157 as body protective compound, I believe, uh, 157, and it's, uh, it's a peptide um, that you can research peptide sites and uh, Maybe you can, if you want to learn more, you can private message me, I guess, where I picked it up from. And it's just a little powder that you add some uh, bacteriostatic water to and dilute it and just take very small amounts of that um, around the injury site. And uh, for me, I mean, it's hard to know if I had a study with and without that, I would know more. But it seems that right like, a couple days after starting that, things started dramatically changing as far as the healing process. Uh, so, and it's, it was referred to me by a number of my old strongman buddies that have used it to rehab pretty serious tears and injuries and they swear by it like it's a, a miracle healing factor. So I'm not sure why this isn't used in every surgical protocol and whatnot, but it seems to be um, incredible. So I'll put a list of all of these down in the description below. Do check them out if you're working around injuries and you're curious about uh, helping to encourage this healing process. Uh, this has definitely made a huge difference for me. I'm really pleased with this. I, I can see things progressing much more quickly than I expected. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna pull in the reins a little bit because I'm getting a little eager to get moving, but I don't wanna be stupid about this. But uh, I'm very happy about how things are going so far. One thing I wanted to do to, to finish off this video was get these uh, bandages off. And I was gonna do that in a video. I haven't touched them since the surgery because they were holding up pretty good. They're nice and clean. Everything seemed to be fine, but they're starting to get a little wear and tear and loose and dirty. And I'm gonna change them today and I wanted to just get this on video to show you guys what's up with uh, this. So I'm gonna take this sling off. Oh, you got no idea what it's like to just get that thing off my arm. So I'll show you what's going on under here. And I'm curious to see too. So hopefully we're not exposing a horror show here, but, oh, I could have shaved my hair, damn it. <laughs> um, let's see what's up. First layer. I think there's a hole in the back too. When they, I think when they scoped my shoulder, they poked a hole in the front and back to get in there and clean shit up. Yeah, they did. A little arthroscopic stuff going on in the back there. And it drew all over me. 
Well, that's good. I wouldn't want them to poke holes where they weren't supposed to. Ah, there it is. Come on, buddy. Yeah. It kind of feels good to, to get these things off, actually. I just don't want to pull up anything that's not supposed to. So. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Actually. That is pretty impressive. I'm not going to take the stair strips off there, but besides the artwork, there's a little hole there. There's a little hole there. And then there's that short stitch here, right in the armpit groove. And uh, pretty clean. Well, this is the, the bloodiest one is this hole here. I guess that's where you had to go in and scope out a little. Uh, uh, traumatic arthritis that was in the shoulder, but hell, man. Like, I'll wipe this stuff off now that I've got this clean. But look, that, that's like a week after the surgery, like, and I got no, no swell. I got a little um, bruising that's come up here, but overall, this was all purple and yellow, and like, arm is. I'm not going to extend it all the way, but I can also contract the bicep now. I'm not going to play around much more than that, but it's feeling f like unreal. I can't believe this is like one week post-surgery. Anyway, I'm on a bit of a high right now about it, uh, but I'll definitely follow up after the surgical uh, follow-up on Tuesday and let you know what's going on then. But uh, yeah, man, this has been a very, very positive experience overall, which is weird to say about a an injury and a surgery. Like I've mentioned in other videos, it's been a, a great learning opportunity for me as well and a, and a good way to reset my mindset around everything. So more videos coming up soon. I'll be posting some progress on my rehab process around this. I'll be talking about what I'm doing with my nutrition plan and getting in some other stuff around that. So good stuff coming up. Stay tuned until then. Stay strong.